Hi, Dr. Bug here. It's August. Summer's into the third month and winding down, and it is hot. August is a great time to stand outside, especially later in the day, and just listen to the sounds of the insect world. Today, we are going to identify a few katydids, crickets, and cicadas that we hear in our yards and around our houses. But first, what do you think this sound is? This is a sound I really do not want to hear buzzing around my ears. I think most of us feel that same way. Of course, unless you're a bat or a purple martin, a hummingbird, or any of the other mosquito-eating birds. We learned all about mosquitoes in the last Dr. Bug video. If you missed it, go check it out and learn how to take the proper precautions and how to reduce mosquito populations. Katydids resemble grasshoppers, but rarely cause damage to our gardens. They live mostly in weedy patches and love to stand at the very ends of the tall plants to sing their hearts out. Let's listen for some katydids. This song belongs to the slightly musical conehead. It has this long head ornament. It's black underneath with a small hook right here. The conehead always requires an abundance of water. Let's listen for another. That short two-part zetic is the song of the oblong wing katydid. That song is a little different than all of the other katydids, so if you hear this song, you can be sure it's the oblong wing katydid. If you think you might want to catch one of these katydids, just note they are one of the largest katydids and have powerful wings that allow them to escape quickly. Another sound you can hear in that weedy patch is the common meadow katydid. This katydid is easier to catch. They don't hide, they don't fly away as you approach, and you'll hear it both day and night. Now, Let's listen for crickets. Crickets use a scraper on their hind legs to rub a special structure on the edge of their wings. This is the snowy tree cricket. You might be thinking I made a mistake. This looks nothing like the brown cricket I know. It is quite different. Tree crickets sing at the edges of woods or in shrubby plants. And can you guess why they're called snowy? Well, if you guessed it's because they're out singing in the cold snow, sorry, nope. It's because of their snowy white coloring. Okay, let's listen for another. This is probably what you know as the cricket. It's the name for the confused ground cricket. Why confused? It was the entomologist that was confused when he named it and the name stuck. And finally, the cicadas. Cicadas are definitely my idea of the insect's song of choice for August. This one is called the scissor grinder cicada. It is one of the many annual cicadas. They all actually have a distinct sound, but they are very similar. And this was the year of the Magis Cicada, the periodic cicada. You may have heard these. The background buzz synchronizes with the millions that emerge. The very loud drone is exciting, especially when you think that these cicadas emerge just once every 13 or 17 years. These sounds are from a fantastic site online called songsofinsects.com. I used all of the recordings from that site with permissions in our video. They have many, many insects to explore. Ideas on collecting, insect pets, and much, much more. The link is included in the show more description section below, along with our links to Dr. Bug's mosquito and insect as pet videos. Like our videos? Subscribe to our channel, enjoy the rest of your summer, and until next time, see you in the garden. Ask Dr. Bug originates from the Kids Ask Dr. Bug column, written by Dr. Tamara Rial. 
horticultural specialist with the University of Missouri Extension. Her column can be found in garden publications, newsletters, and Extension websites. Do you have a question for Dr. Bug? Send them to reallt at missouri.edu. Put Ask Dr. Bug in the subject and include your name and age. Or ask your questions online at the address listed here.